Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Toonie School, and this Tech Tuesday we're going to be talking about how to input your injector flow rate when your injector flow rate table is maxed out at 63 pounds an hour. So this is a really common problem and it's something you're going to find on early E38 computers. So as an example, our 2006 Corvette has this flow rate limit to it. I've also worked with lots of 2007s and 2008s that have this issue as well. So if you've got an early generation E38, you likely have this type of fuel injector flow rate table. Now as well, the E40s will have it. So anything that's like an 04, 05, 06 GTO, they will have this flow rate cap as well. And basically the way it works is the table is only limited to 63 pounds an hour. Now what does that really mean? Well, stock gear injectors are probably only anywhere from 40 to 24 pounds an hour, somewhere in that range. When you're doing modifications to the vehicle, fuel injectors is one of the first things you really need to upgrade. And a lot of times guys have builds that require something like 70, 80, even 90, and sometimes higher pounds an hour. And when you have something like that, you're gonna come into that table and realize you can't go that high. So what we're gonna talk about is the solution for when that table gets maxed out. So like I was just saying, this problem is going to be very common on E38 computers and early E38 computers. And if we go to calibration details right here, we can pull this up and see that this is in fact an E38 computer. And this is actually our shop Corvette. It's a LS2 car. So anything that's really LS2 is likely going to have this issue. So the GTOs are also really common for having this problem. I'm not sure which years carry over to the trucks, but I know that E40 is going to have the flow rate cap as well as e, er, early E38. So just keep that in mind as you're moving forward that these are what you're going to have to deal with with these LS2 cars. And so we're going to go ahead and close this now. And we're going to actually locate our fuel injector flow rate table. And, and I say it's, it's for LS2 cars, but really I have seen this in a couple LS7s as well. It just depends on the year. So just keep in mind, it's not strictly LS2, but it is very much present in LS2s. So after we go to engine, we're gonna go to fuel, and then general. We're gonna locate our flow rate versus KPA table, okay? So at this point, you guys wanna make sure that you are using a good set of injectors that do have data, so you can verify exactly what the flow rate is at a given fuel pressure, okay? So let's use an example today, and let's say that we're using 90 pound an hour injectors, okay? And we verified that they're 90 pounds an hour at 58 PSI. We've already done all that background legwork, or a fuel injector company has done that for us, all right? So now that we know this, we need to set this entire table here to its maximum limit. And the way we know that this is flow rate maxed is if we come over here and hover over the table, we can look down here, Try that again. We can look down here in this right hand corner and we can see that it says zero to 63 pounds an hour. So that's how we know that this can only go to 63 pounds an hour. And so what we'll do is we'll set this entire table to 63 equals. All right, so now our entire table's set to 63, but we have 90 pound an hour injectors. So we need to keep figuring out what we need to do next, all right? And the next step is gonna be, let's open up a calculator so let's go under tools and then calculator. So once we're in here, we're gonna come up with a multiplier, right? So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna type in 90 divided by 63, which is what we have in this table. So we took what our actual flow rate is divided by how much we can get, and that's gonna give us a multiplier of 1.42. Okay, so what this means is we only, we, there's 42% of the injector flow rate is unaccounted for in this table. So once we hit 63 pounds an hour, it still needs to know that there's 42% more flow rate. Okay, so now that we know this number, we're just going to take a mental note of it. We're going to go ahead and open up this flow rate molt versus volts table. Okay, and this is just going to give us uh, an idea of what we need to do here. So. Basically, the way that this table works it says at this much ignition voltage, we're going to multiply whatever's inside of this flow rate table by this much. And you see right now, it's not multiplying it by anything. It's just one, so it's actually not being multiplied at all. But by putting the value in here that we got over here of 1.42 or 42%, now 
whenever we're at any of these ignition voltages, and most of the time we're going to be here at 12 to 13, right? So whenever we're at 12 to 13 volts of ignition, we're going to get 42% larger than 63 pounds an hour, okay? So that's, in essence, how you're going to overcome this problem with your flow rate table. Now, there is some times where you guys will have an issue, and that's because this table can only go as high as two, okay? So it can only go as high as double whatever this table is, okay? So just realize that if you have anything that's more than double than 63, you're gonna have to go through other avenues to scale your injectors. And then also realize that this method is not foolproof. It works most of the time, but it does not work every time. There is other ways to scale your injectors and they are much more complicated. And if you do have an issue where this doesn't work, you will have to seek professional help in order to get the injector scaled correctly. But you, most of you guys at home can go ahead and take this information that I've just given you here and go and modify your injector flow rate table and overcome the flow rate limit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you're able to take something away from it and hopefully it'll help you in the future when you're dealing with one of these cars. For more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. Thanks for watching and as always, stay tuned.